In the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a site using Wix. So if you're a beginner and you want to create a site for your business, an event, or even a personal blog, then Wix is a perfect place to build your website. So now, without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. The first step is to create an account on Wix. So for that, just go to any browser. And after that, you'll have to go to wix.com. So now I've reached Wix, you'll have to click on get started. And here you'll have to create an account. So if you have one, you can just log in or else you can enter all of your details over here or you can sign up with Google and Facebook. So now I'll quickly sign in. After this, click on get started again. Here they'll ask a few questions to get to know what type of a website you want to create and then they'll suggest suitable templates. So this is an easier way to create a website, but if you want more creative freedom, then just click on skip. So you'll have to keep skipping around four to five times. We've reached our dashboard and from here we can create our site. So now just click on this button that's create new site. After that again, just click on skip. Then after skipping, you'll reach this page. And over here, you'll have to click on the button on the right that's edit a template. So just click on that. Now over here, you can search for templates based on the type of website you want to create. So there's a search bar on the top right. So in this video, as an example, I'll create a site for a business where I'll give some information about it. So now in the search, I'll just enter business. And as you can see, it's showing me business website templates. So no matter what type of a website you want to create, the process is more or less the same. So now we've got to select the template that we want. So I'll scroll down. So if I keep my cursor on a template, as you can see, I have two options to view it and edit it. So if I just view it, I can go to different pages. And if you like this template, then what you can do is just click on edit the site that's on the top right of the screen. And then you can start editing it. And as you can see over here, I have many options to customize this template to my liking. So first I'll show you how to design this page. But one thing you should know that initially it may look a bit complicated, but this is extremely simple. It's all based on drag and drop. And even if you're someone who isn't into all of this, it'll become quite simple after a while. First, I'll just add a title to the website. So on the top left, as you can see, there's a title. And if I just double click on it, then there's an option to edit text. And here I can enter the name of my company. You can make tons of changes to make it look better, like changing the fonts, the sizes, making it bold italics and all of that. So after you've changed the heading, you can make changes to the text on all the pages. So if I just scroll down, as you can see here, there's services, projects, clients. And if I want to edit this, I can just double click on it and then just click on edit text. And here you can type anything you want. So now the same way you can just scroll down and make changes to all of this. And now if I scroll down, let's say you don't want the section that's our clients. So if you want to delete it, it's extremely simple. Just click on the three dots, which are over here and then click on delete. And now as you can see, the page is gone. Now, if you finished editing the home page and you want to edit the other pages to go to them, you'll just have to click on this arrow over here. That's to switch pages. And as you can see, we can switch between all of the pages on our site. So this is usually what I do first, just make changes to the text and then delete all the things which I don't want. Because after this, from the toolbar, you have many options like adding different elements or images or even pages. So I'll show you how to do all of that in this video. So assuming that you made changes to the text and deleted all of the sections that you don't want, now we can start adding elements to the page. So for that, just click on the plus button, which is on the left over here. And here you can see what all you can add. So from images to videos or even links to your social media accounts, you have everything over here. And honestly, it's extremely simple to add. So let's say for now, I just want to add a button. So I'll click on button. 
Then I can decide which type of a button I want. So for now, I'll select text and icon button. And here, I'll just click on show. So for now, let's say I want to put it over here. Then I can just leave it. And as you can see, it's come here. And again, you can edit this button. So the text, the colors, and even the page that it links to. You have all of the settings over here. So the same way, I'll quickly show you how to add an image. So click on the plus button over here, then select image. And over here, based on which image you want, you can just select one of these options. So let's say I want some stock images. I can just select stock images here. Then I can search for it and add it. So now if I want to add this image, I can select it, click on add to page, and now it's come here. So now I can resize it if I want, and then move it to the place where I want to keep it. And one thing which I forgot to mention earlier is that you should keep auto save on, so then you won't have to worry about saving your work. So by default, it is on, but if it isn't, you can just click on Control Alt A. Now there's only one thing left to know about designing pages, and that's managing the sections. So for that, just click on the second button, which is on the left, and that's to add sections. So here, let's say I want to add a promotion section. I can just click on that. And here they've given me some suggestions. So if I want this one, then I can just select it and drag it wherever I want. And as you can see, it's come here and you can make all the changes that you want to this. The next thing we have to do is manage the menu and adding pages. So for that, click on the third icon that's on the left. And here, as you can see, the menu has come. So exactly what you see over here, like about projects, services, in the same order, it's right over here. So now, if I want to make some changes, like let's say I want to move about at the end, I can just drag it and move it to the end. And now, as you can see, it's gone right to the end. So the same way, from here you can add pages, delete them, or reorder them. So to add it, it's extremely simple. Just click on add page, then select the type of page you want. So if I want a page for projects, I can select that and click on add page. And now it's come here. And if you want to add this as a sub page, it's again extremely simple. Just drag it below the page you want to keep it under. So let's say I want to keep projects too as a sub page of projects. So I'll just drag it below it, then click on the three dots and click on sub page. And now as you can see, it's not showing in the menu, but if someone clicks on projects, then they'll be able to see the page projects too as well. And now the last thing you need to know about this is deleting a page. So for that, just click on the three dots, which are over here and click on delete. And as you can see, it's gone. So this is basically how the menu and pages work. The next thing we have to change is the footer. So at the bottom of the page, you'll find the footer, which is seen on every page on this site. So now I'll just scroll down. And if you like their design of the footer, then what you can do is just double click on the text and then edit it. But if you want to change the design, you can just click on the three dots, which are over here. Click on change footer design and here as you can see, they've given more options. So if you've reached till here, then I'm sure that a large part of your website will be ready. And now there are only a few settings left before which you can publish your site. So I'll quickly show you those. And the first one is mobile view. So Wix has a mobile view, which basically allows you to see how your site will look on a phone and then you can edit it from here. So for that, just click on the mobile icon that's over here. And here we can see how our site will look on a phone. And if you want to make changes, the same way you can make changes from here. Like changing the length of the section or changing text, all of that's from here. And now, before publishing the website, there's only one thing left to do, and that's SEO. So if you don't know what that is, it basically helps to make your site rank in Google search. 
So the aim is that when someone searches for your website, yours should be in the top few options. So to do this, we'll have to click on settings and then just click on get found on Google. Then click on get started. Now you'll have to answer these questions. So here you'll have to give three keywords about your business and separate them with a comma. So each keyword can be two to four words long. So I'll quickly add them. And now they'll just give a list of a few more things that you need to do. So here they've said that I have to add a description for my homepage. So just click on go for it to do it. So you'll have to complete this entire checklist. And after that, your site will be completely ready. So now I've gone back to my site and I'll show you how to publish it. So if you want, before publishing it, you can preview it. So in preview, you can see how it'll look on a laptop or on a mobile. And then just click on publish to publish it. And now as you can see, our website is live. So if I just copy the URL and paste it, here as you can see, it's taken us to the site. And now one additional point is connecting your site to your own domain name. So currently our domain has Wix site written because we're on the free version. But if you want your business's name for that, you'll have to click on connect your domain. After that, you can get a new one through Wix or if you already have one, then just select the second option over here. So for now, I'll click on get a new domain name. And here are all of the plans that they have. So based on what all you want, you can select one of these plans and the benefits of all of them are shown over here. So this is how to create a site using Wix. And if this video helped you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.